you have to kind of go back and think about, you know, how am I uh, thinking about my site types, right? And what locations that are physical and whether I'm a manufacturer, I'm a retailer, I'm a restaurant, I'm a, you know, sales office, you know, what is the capacity of people or commerce that I'm going to do over there? And, you know, how am I going to, you know, work with the application awareness and the experience. So we continue to see the branch transformation and the software defined wider network capabilities, or in general, sort of, you know, application aware, highly secure, you know, how do you define that perimeter to that physical, you know, location? The edge in the network is almost amorphous. What is the edge? Where is the edge? When you're talking about old networks, the edge was sort of um, the corporate headquarter if you will, because everything was getting sucked back in. Then I just referenced, no, it was moving it to the branch. So the edge of the network is the branch of the network. Um, now customers are saying, well, I want to start consuming cloud services. So where exactly is the security perimeter when I'm dealing with cloud, um, uh, 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 cloud applications or accessing cloud for different reasons? Now I have workers anywhere or they're at home. And with the hybrid work environment, I'm gonna have people at work and then they're gonna be at home. How, where does that all come together? And so the convergence of security and networking has never been more present. It's all about multi-cloud hybrid cloud architectures. These multi-cloud hybrid cloud architectures are driven by enterprises' accelerated adoption of multiple public clouds, driven by their needs of various applications as well as microservices architectures are driving the need of hybrid cloud. Think about SASE, it needs to be dynamic, it needs to be easy, it needs to be consumable, built on a very much converged architecture. SD-WAN or SASE with SD-WAN also has seen an increasing trend of having at least one uplink that is not over private access, but is a commercial broadband or a DIA. In fact, we have seen this at almost all business and home sites that we have rolled out over the last year. In other words, broadband adoption is becoming a regulation in the enterprise. We have seen from multiple managed service providers that there is a concern uh, that the services cannot be customized enough to meet the enterprise needs. What is needed is the ability to pick and choose different technologies to satisfy different enterprise-specific needs. Uh, the way to do this is to use a, uh, a virtualization platform that is disconnected from the appliances, allowing the operator to change vendor of SD1, vendor of firewalling, vendor of appliances, depending on what the customer needs.